Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's one of the biggest Fridays of the year on FIFA and it is Premier League team of the season. It is here today, guys. It's going to be a super exciting day with great cards and packs. Some of the best that we will see during the entirety of team of the season. And of course, probably the sweatiest week in league of the year starting today with everybody chasing after these team of the season cards in those rewards starting today. So we're going to take a look at that. Of course, big content and SBCs and objectives is expected and a lot of movement on the market. So there's a lot to cover today. If you're excited for this big day of FIFA, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's quickly talk about what happened yesterday because what happened yesterday kind of prefaces what we're heading into today. We had one SBC yesterday, which was marquee matchups. But once again, it has that little XP, um, you know, logo at the very top of the SBC. And that means once again, that it is tied to an objective to get XP for the TOTS season swaps. And the new objective did drop yesterday, every Thursday, guys, for like the next month, basically. We're going to be getting these TOTS swaps objectives as we move on throughout the team of the season. So we have a new one, right? It's very similar. It's kind of copy paste from the community TOTS season swaps. But again, make sure you check through this one and it kind of gives us a look forward to what we're going to be seeing later on this next week. Challenge for SBC. We're going to have a Premier League Premium League Upgrade SBCs. Those are the big time upgrade SBCs we look forward to every single year. We're going to get those on Monday. So we'll talk about that later on this week and how we can prepare for that. But very similar to last time. But of course, make sure you get all those objectives done that you can because I do believe now it is possible to get Kaiseido from level 15 or the 15 times 83 plus pack, which would be a really nice pack to be opening today. Now, of course, with yesterday's content as well, we had a loading screen and that's going to start the conversation about today on Friday. This loading screen right here, which we saw the leaks earlier yesterday. We made a video about it. We'll talk through them really quickly again here today. But this gave us some confirmation on some of the insane boosts they're going to be giving these cards. First of all, Mohamed Salah, five star skill moves. That's crazy that they're giving a five star skill move upgrade to Mohamed Salah. Really excited for that one. He's going to be an expensive card today as a lot of these guys are looking like they might be. On the right here, we definitely have Marcus Rashford with the four star weak foot upgrade that he has needed. That's the second card that's in the game that'll have a four star weak foot, but it's been needed for sure on this team and season version. And then we have the moments card in the middle. And there's some debate about who this card is. I think this card is clearly one player that was leaked yesterday. And that player is Raphael Varane. But the reason why we're all crazy about this 94 rated French with French player with 90 pace is you take a look at the Varane card that we have in this game right now. And for a TOTS moments card, which are supposed to not be getting that big of upgrades, this is a huge upgrade for Raphael Varane. Um, 88 rated to 94. They're going to give him plus five pace, plus six overall. That's going to be a really cracked looking Tots moments card. Now, why do we believe that's Varane and not another French center back? Because based off of the leaks that we have seen, Varane is a Tots moments player. So anything could be, of course, changing with this because leaks are not always 100% right. But that is why we believe it's going to be Varane. So that's a crazy card. And just seeing this stat here, 94 rated for Varane. He's a Tots moments card. That's cr a crazy stat boost, right? So that gives me hope for today that the rest of these team of the season cards that are dropping on this game today will be boosted up incredibly high. Now, speaking of these boosts, that's probably the biggest thing for the TOTS cards coming in packs today that we're looking forward to seeing. How big of the rating boosts are EA going to be putting on these cards? I do believe, once again, that these um, these are predicted stats that Foot Sheriff posted yesterday. If you take a look at a lot of the tweets that he posted... He's saying that stats are a prediction. Do I think Holland's going to be 99? I would love it if he is. That'd be so awesome. But I just don't see EA doing that. I would love to be surprised. But again, that just seems to be kind of too big of a bump in the power curve. And I mean, it's still only May and we have a lot of months of this game left to go. So we will see. It's kind of according to how whatever EA wants to do today, they're going to do. But I really feel like a lot of these ratings, as we look at these predicted cards, I think they're going to be like minus one, minus two, some of them maybe even minus three from the actual uh, predicted stats that we see here. But so many big names, Odegaard, Martinelli, Saka, Zinchenko. We have like half of the Arsenal's starting 11, right? Holland, Rashford, De Bruyne, um, Saliba, right? This is the other card people think might be on the loading screen. But the way that I look at this is Varane was not in the TOTS voting. I think it's clearly Varane on that moments card and Saliba was in the TOTS voting. So he is getting a TOTS card. There's no other center backs that are leaked unless that changes. Uh, this is going to be a TOTS card today along with Ramsdale, 
right there. Moving up the list, we've got Casemiro. I think this one might be one that has a smaller upgrade today. Depending on him on Bruno Guimaraes, one gets a bigger upgrade, one gets a smaller one. We'll just have to see. But again, you look through this team, and as we talked about it yesterday, just so many absolutely insane players and insane cards that we are going to be seeing on this game today. Harry Kane gets in. There's the Salah, of course. Might not be 97 rated, but it's going to have five-star skills. Actually, a 97 Salah kind of reminds me of the Mane that we had last year. Not, not, not Mane Garincha, but Sadio Mane had a team of the season card last year in FIFA 22 that had a five-star skill move boost. None of his other cards had that, but this card was absolutely insane. It was 96 rated, and he was 3 million coins because he was five-star, four-star, and he had never gotten like a five-star upgrade before. So that's what that Salah card reminds me of just a little bit. Uh, Trippier is going to be a very usable card today, going to be very cheap as well, I, in my opinion. And then the Tots Moments cards to me still are crazy. The fact that we're getting a Reese James, a Hyunmin Sun somehow getting into Tots, you could definitely argue not deserved. And then, of course, that Rafael Varane. So it is no secret the cards we are getting today are looking absolutely insane. And like we said, it does come down for a lot of these guys to some of the boosts that they get in terms of the stats, but also for some of the bigger guys, like you're talking Holland and you're talking KDB. Will they go above the rating of the team of the year? Will they match the rating of the team of the year? Or will they go below it, right? We really don't know. That's the biggest question mark for today. The boost on the stats and, of course, the weak foot and the skill moves that we will see today. Now, of course, with all of these insane cards that we see right now in this game and comparing to the cards that we have right now in the community team this season, we really do believe that these Premier League TOTS cards are going to be pretty expensive, guys. I mean, think about guys like the Bernardo Silva and some of these players that have been in the community TOTS that really... I mean, they've held pretty high prices throughout this week. We still have a 1.2 million coin Bernardo. We've got a Gabriel Jesus who is 2.6 million coins right now on this game. It's going to be tough to pack Premier League Tots today. I know all of us are going to be going out and trying to do it through player picks, through packs that have been saved. Today is a massive day where we're all trying to pack Team of the Season cards. It's going to be tough to pack these guys, and I do believe they are going to have some pretty high prices um, with that being said, there is a lot of supply and that, that is going to be happening in the first 30 minutes to an hour. Very similar to what we saw with these Community Tots cards. I do believe there will be some low prices within the first 30 minutes to an hour on this game today with lightning round packs and saved up packs being opened where some of these cards may be viable in that first kind of hour range for a rise that happens later on. Remember last week, um, I bought Kingsley Coman at like, I think it was like 490k and he went up to like 600 something. Taram went up a bunch last week. Alexis Sanchez, right? Like all the cards last week started low and then rebounded up a lot because there was just so much pack supply. And then after that, everybody is done opening their packs. They have coins. They want to go try out brand new Tots cards for the weekend league that is starting. And just like last week, we're going to have that same kind of fluctuation today. Same sort of, um, I guess you could say like, uh, not fluctuation, but yes, on the market fluctuation, but schedule. Four foot champions. The weekend league is going to start at the same time today, two hours after content. It's the same schedule throughout the entirety of team of the season. And of course, the rewards that we have are Premier League Tots and Air Divisi Tots. Now, Air Divisi, Air Divisi Tots cards, they're going out of packs today. They are leaving the game. They are not going to be in packs anymore, except they will still be in the weekend league rewards so they will still be available in those but they will not be available in packs unless ea do something kind of snaky today and extend these guys in packs which i don't think is going to happen the only tots cards that will be in packs today will be the Premier league team this season items moments and tots cards that are dropped onto this game so that's one thing to kind of watch out for and remember now speaking of more Premier league tots content what is our spc and objective content going to be today now last friday you probably remember we had arajo as our day one spc player now the question still looms large who in the world is going to be our spc today we have a couple of flashback leagues and we're still trying to like think and, and like just i guess decipher when is that alan saint maximin coming is he going to be an spc we have other cards that have been leaked like mitoma and paulina are those guys going to be coming as SBCs? Are they going to be in packs as a part of the TOTS moments drop today? Or are those leaks entirely just like now not going to happen? We don't know. In my opinion, I feel like it might be a flashback Friday today with Kai Havertz. 
We had this SPC leaked first um, a couple of days ago. I feel like he might be our SPC today, unless it's going to be ASM. Guys, it's honestly up in the air. And this is the biggest thing for me today that could move a lot of prices on the market. If we get a Kai Havertz, if he's got a really good looking card, if it's a cheap price, he's got really good links with a lot of Chelsea special cards that are in this game. Maybe not so many that are in team of the season besides Reese James, but you got a lot of guys like Mudrick, Enzo Fernandez, um, as we go full screen there, that was not supposed to happen. But you've got plenty of guys that are in the uh, game that have special cards that are Chelsea that would be just perfect for people to put this card into their teams, especially with the Premier League links that are going to be very hyped this weekend. So I think I would watch Premier League attackers today. If Havertz does drop, he'd have to get a massive boost and potentially five-star skills to be such a really, really insane SBC. But we'll have to see, right? If it's Laporte that gets dropped today, because that's another SBC that we have leaked, then you would want to watch out for center backs because those would drop in price. But if we're talking about the market in terms of SBCs today, if the SBC player is very, very hyped, and of course, very, very, I guess you could say, you know, a card that a lot of people want to get out and go and do right away. I would be careful with your other cards in this game that are not Premier League. I do feel like other players, whether it's Community Tots cards or other players from other leagues, could see a hit in price today and could actually drop off a little bit because people are going to really focus on the Premier League team building today with those Tots cards, with the SBC, and maybe the objective players as well. Now, speaking of objectives, Another thing that might pull some demand into Premier League squad building is a cup mode. And I do believe this cup, Eredivisie, is expiring today. And I believe the, the new one, this came out last week on Friday. So we might have a Tots Premier League Cup today, potentially. Or maybe EA would delay that until Sunday when we probably have the EFL Tots cards in packs. But if there is a Premier League Cup today, watch very closely because that could potentially mean there's more demand for Premier League cards for objectives as well. And speaking of objectives, we do know that the objective player that is leaked, it is going to be the Ali Watkins card. He is leaked to be our objective player. Also, almost forgot, and Ali Son is somehow supposed to be a part of TOTS, whether it's in the team, whether it's a moments card or an SBC or objective. Uh, that's, that's where the unknown is today. SBC and objectives and what in the world's going on with some of these moments cards like ASM and, and Allison like this one. But Ali Watkins and objectives and then the, the SBC is, uh, you know, all up in our arms, all up in the air today for potentially what it could be in the content drop today. Now, also today, um, content wise, I think there's going to be some new stuff in the moment store. Uh, so watch out for that, because I do believe it even said here in objectives are going to be new Premier League uh, associated things in the moments store there. So, uh, yeah, it's a really big day for the market as well, like we mentioned, and I've got a lot of my coins liquid. I am doing a couple quick flip trades at the moment. You see, I bought a Ruba Diaz. I bought a couple Brutal Gamer Rash because I do feel like for some of these cards that are getting Team of the Seasons, their new cards might just be so expensive that the ones that are older, uh, but also still very meta, are going to be in demand as people go and buy teams for Weekend League. And you might see guys like this Brutal Gamer Rash, who's actually up about 20,000 coins from where he was, um, you know, go up further in price today. That is a potential thing that could happen. But if you're looking to buy players for your team today, what I would wait to do is... Wait until the content drop, see what we get. And then, of course, if it's a player that you're trying to buy that's in packs, even a golden Mbappe like this, he's probably going to drop a little bit, at least for the first, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes as everybody is opening their packs today. It'll be a mad rush to open packs today right at content time. I would also believe that the servers are going to go down today. So if I have any advice for you, it would be get on FIFA as early as you can. Make sure the game is open and try to not, you know, exit the game during that first 30 minutes because with the big server outages yesterday, there's probably going to be server outages today. I think the servers on Community Tots last Friday went down for like five minutes or something like that. I would imagine there's going to be server troubles again today on this game. But if you're looking to buy players for your team, that first kind of like 30 minutes should give us kind of an idea of how the market's going to react throughout the day. And especially if it's a really meta card, again, like we said, there will be coins put onto the market today. I would just be careful with cards that are not Premier League, but a lot of the cards on the market today should start rising up later as people go and buy teams for Weekend League. If you guys remember last weekend, we had a huge kind of like, um, I guess you could call it like rise in price and prices like exploded for a couple of hours after content because we were riding up to that new Weekend League start time where everybody was buying teams for the Team of the Season Weekend League for Community Tots. 
there's going to be a lot of buying today on this game as well for Premier League team in the season. So just keep an eye out for that. That could be a really good time to sell cards about two, three, four hours after content. You could see some really big price spikes then as there's all the demand kind of coming to a point as people start playing their weekend league games. And also, like I mentioned as well, watch in the first 30 minutes or so for these TOTS cards because they might start out really, really cheap like these guys did this last week in community. Uh, I do believe these guys, though, are going to be very expensive. We're talking cards, multiple cards over a million coins. And uh, unless EA dropped the pack weight super duper low or something crazy, the Premier League toss today are going to be pretty expensive. Now, what else could we be seeing today? You guys are going to be opening all these saved up packs, trying to pack blues, and there's going to be SBCs for us to rinse into, right? Well, of course, we did talk about the potential for a flashback or ASM, but there is an SBC refreshing today. I kind of forgot about this one because I did it right away when it came out. But the 88 plus FIFA World Cup Foot Fantasy or Trophy Titans Hero Player Pick is refreshing today. So we'll be able to do that SBC again. 84, 86 rated squads. You need two 85s as a part of it. So if you're opening packs today, this is also a player pick you could do. Just remember, last time we did this, the weight was absolutely terrible. So just be very careful with that one there. If you're going to rinse into it, again, you know the risk. The weight was terrible last time. Maybe it's a little bit better this time around, but it is pretty cheap nonetheless. If you're opening any upgrade packs today, any saved ones, maybe you're going to have some fodder to get that done. Um, and that's kind of it. Maybe a player of the month SBC today for La Liga. I mean, I could expect to see something around those lines as well, but it's just going to be a massive day on this game. And really just talking about the hype, all the hype today is going to be in the store with the packs for the first 15, 20, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour. And then after that, it's going to go crazy. Speaking of packs, really quickly, we have some massive store packs that have been added to the code as well. And they're just, they were just modified. Um, the uh, pack code was just modified here. But look at some of these packs. Tots Elite Pack contains 100 gold rare players, 81 and above for all of them, 386 pluses and 188 plus. And you know, guys... I feel like EA might be doing something along the lines in that TOTS Cup with a Premier League requirement. Because if you look in here, there are a lot of kind of like TOTS player pick loans. Um, and some of them are Premier League specific. If you look on this next page, you've got a TOTS Premium Pack. But then TOTS Foundations Pack and a Premier League TOTS Essentials. You get four Premier League TOTS or moments on a loan player pick for two players. Loans for seven games. That's four player picks. Uh, for Premier League team of the season players, that's kind of insane. So GG's for that pack right there. It's also got 10 um, rare golds, 184 plus. Tots Foundations pack, 30 gold rare players, 286 and above. And you've got uh, some max overall rating for some player picks. I do believe all of these packs are untradeable. Um, but again, as we saw this last weekend during Community Tots, there's going to be a lot of lightning rounds. They're probably going to drop all of the second half, jumbo, whatever, um, you know, tryout whatever packs there's going to be just gobs of packs in the store today it's going to be everybody opening packs to try to pack team of the seasons now the pack weight again i'll tell you this i mean look at some of these packs that may get re-released right a second half rare players pack team of the season player right now 8.1 percent that includes the air divisi uh and the community and the team of the season moments 2.0 percent i would have to imagine that that percentage is going to be going lower today um although we're all trying to pack Team of the Season Blues. For some of you guys that are going to be opening tradable and untradable packs, one thing we talked about earlier in the stream yesterday was maybe it's worth it to save your untradable packs until Monday when we get the actual SBCs that you could then trade and craft and do the no man left behind method where if you have duplicates, you put those duplicates into an upgrade SBC like this 81 plus player pick, which we know this week we're going to be getting a Premier League specific upgrade pack. So that could be the play there. Also, if you wanted to wait to open your packs till an optimal time, we do believe we're going to get EFL team of the season on Sunday or Monday, sometime during the weekend. But that's why the Air Divisi cards are in rewards once again, because uh, they are, you know, they're ending in packs today, but weekend league starts today. So if EA is not dropping another set of TOTS cards from a secondary league in packs, that would be the reason why they're not in rewards. So it's probably just going to be Prem TOTS today which will decrease the percentage chance of us being able to pack Team of the Seasons anyway. But what a crazy day it's going to be today, guys. We're going to be live streaming it all, reacting to the content, making coins, playing games, and hopefully packing some Team of the Seasons today on Twitch. That link's going to be down below in the description. So check us out there. We'll be live a couple hours before content or so. 
And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video today, if you're hyped for Prem Tots, hit the thumbs up, comment down below if you do have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nathan for the count. See you guys in the stream today. Peace. Out.